After residents in several South Florida cities went to the polls to decide key races and issues on the ballot. Incumbent Frances Suarez is cruising to victory in his re-election bid for mayor with an overwhelming majority of the votes. Local 10's Glenna Milberg live though in Miami now with more for us. Glenna. In the morning after, Christy Louis, the mayor, once and future mayor, had a wide ranging conversation here at City Hall today and he used those results to sort of set the tone for the future, but not before a little bit of look back as well. Miami's mayor says his reelection landslide is his validation. That for me is a validation of the work that I've done. It's a validation of the vision that I have for the future of the city. There was little doubt that Francis Suarez would win re-election and that Commissioner Joe Carollo would too. Both big names in a small city, which Miami is, despite its outsized reputation. The results in both their races show overwhelming majorities, but also an underwhelming minority of city voters. In the mayor's race, 27,323 people voted in a city of almost half a million. In the commission district race, 6,210. I hope to continue to work collaboratively, cohesively, and peacefully uh, for a better future for the city and for all of its residents. That's the mayor telegraphing a hope for calm in a city known for its drama and political theater that he actually blames, at least partially, on the press. The press often believes that they sort of, sort of have the pulse of the community, when in fact it's often opposite and things that they think are major things and, oh, we're going to cover this thing for a week or two weeks and we're going we're gonna to do round-the-clock coverage of things that we think are really important are not that important to everyday residents. So we asked the mayor, what's an example of that that you're talking about? And he brought up the coverage of the ouster of Miami's new police chief, Art Acevedo, a month ago. He thinks media coverage surrounding that was way overblown. We will talk a little bit more about that concept when we see you right back here in an hour. I'm Glenna Milberg, live at